Hello on this Wednesday, July 11, 2007. I'm Kristen Volk with the UPI Headline Update. An al-Qaeda cell may be planning an imminent attack on U.S. soil. ABC News says the intelligence is based on information from the failed terrorist attacks in Scotland and England. A former FBI agent says that the cell wants to attack a government facility. White House officials have apparently called a security summit for tomorrow to discuss what steps can be taken to minimize or foil the attack. Meanwhile, four men who were convicted of plotting suicide bomb attacks on London's transport system two years ago received life sentences today. Each will serve a minimum of 40 years in jail. All of them denied the charges of conspiracy to murder and cause explosions, saying the devices they carried were a hoax. China has executed its top food and drug regulator for taking bribes to approve untested medicine. The man whose death sentence was carried out yesterday in Beijing was the first ministerial level official put to death in seven years. The sentence against the regulator was apparently unusually harsh, but the country's leadership has been scrambling to show that it's serious about improving the safety of Chinese products. An attention Apple enthusiast, the company is reportedly preparing to release a new version of the iPhone later this year. Analysts say a Nano-based iPhone is in the works that would be built around the ultra-slim iPod Nano music player. The Nano iPhone would reportedly be about half the cost of the original, about $300. Analysts also expect Apple to bring out iPods that resemble the iPhone to help stop the phones from eating into iPod sales. Thanks for watching today's news headline. Check out our new special segment on UPI.com today called Dropouts, a Nationwide Dilemma. Have a great day.